One of the sexiest dresses in history actually comes from morning attire. Up until the early 1900s, women pretty much only wore little black dresses after their husbands had died. And to be fair, they weren't actually that little. Instead, the color black was supposed to show that you were in mourning, and that your sense of style followed a nun-like simplicity. It put the focus on the woman rather than on the fancy trimmings of a colorful dress. There's a scene in Gone with the Wind where the recently widowed Scarlett O'Hara starts uncontrollably sobbing because she thinks wearing a black mourning gown will prevent her from ever meeting a man again. Oh, mother, I know you think I'm horrible, but I just can't bear going around in black. It's bad enough not being able to go to any parties, but looking this way too. But she didn't really have anything to worry about, because often what wearing mourning dresses actually did was advertise that a woman was three very sexy things. That they were respectable enough to have been married, that they were sexually experienced, and most importantly, that they were available, which kind of upset the social norms of the day. It indicated that a woman had really lived a life, which is why in Anna Karenina, the adulterous Anna wears a black dress to the ball, and why the painting Madame X caused outrage for depicting a socialite in a black evening gown. A friendly reminder that this was a time when painting nude women was totally cool and normal. But it's not a huge surprise that Coco Chanel, an independent woman with a few different lovers, loved black. And when she first popularized the little black dress in 1926, folks supposedly compared it to the Model T car and called it Chanel's Ford. Since then, the LBD has taken many different forms, from Audrey Hepburn's Givenchy dress in Breakfast at Tiffany's to Princess Diana's so-called revenge dress in 1994.